Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. This is actually the second video already, so if you want to see everything that came before this, click this thing to get to part one. And it will ha it has the bases, it has the base and the first layer of clothing. We are jumping back now. Welcome back guys. So I did mention that I will be posting the original, very very original back in 2008 character design of this character it's actually at the end when everything's finished so that the comparison is clear and you can see you can see clearly the design evolution of this character and even my own style and aesthetics so we are now working on the second layer of her outfit and this is what you will see her wearing you can say this her uniform i guess and I did mention that we are going a bit more post-apocalyptic in this design in terms of the colors, the way that the cloth is done. It's not ripped, it's not um it's not post-apocalyptic in the everything is gone sense, but just the fashion style of a dark and sturdy material for clothing type of thing. So this cord is a bit funny because when I was streaming this, uh, the cord was the only thing and the scarf later on are the only things that I kept in this design that are somewhat reminiscent of ninjas or even that entire culture where it came from. And of course I'm not even going for the ninja-esque outfit design anymore, it's as I mentioned supposed to be more post-apocalyptic like. My friend who was watching the stream mentioned that it reminded him of Naruto in terms of the cord which is weird because i don't really i didn't watch naruto uh i'm familiar with it i know the characters i somewhat know the story i know what the main character's goal is and it was all over the place of course like anywhere else in the world so i knew about it and as an anime fan of course i would know about it but i didn't watch it really so i wasn't I really wasn't taking Naruto as an inspiration for this design. So I guess it was a bit subliminal in a way. Like, you know, in movies, uh, certain brands or sponsors would do product placements in a way that it really isn't super noticeable. Like, it works in a way that your brain remembers it, but you don't consciously remember it. And I guess because you con unconsciously remember it, your brain still somewhat looks for that product like how you when you see a coke in a movie or you know coca-cola uh, it actually makes you want to look for a coke or drink coke after it that's how that subliminal thing works it's an advertising marketing strategy i mean it's not so blatant you can say it's a bit evil but not really it's a strategy they just know how the mind works so i guess that's what naruto did with me since i see it so much i mean anywhere you go naruto's there So I guess when I thought, uh, I wanna take away the ninja part, just leave a thing or two that's ninja-esque, I guess that cord is what came to mind. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, which I'm a bit surprised, but Sasuke Uchiha, his second outfit, his shippuden outfit has a cord. It's also, it's violet, it's not purple. It's, viol it's a violet cord if I remember correctly. And even some of the other characters have this cord thing going on. If I remember right, even some of the Bleach characters have this. Some of the Inuyasha characters have this also, I think. So it's a common thing. It's a common design, especially even in older animes. But it's definitely Naruto reminiscent. Actually, I don't know if I'm happy about that Naruto. Uh, I don't know if it. I don't know if I'm happy that it invokes a bit of Naruto in it, because I don't want to call this character Naruto OC because she's definitely not. She was made 
as a shonen on Neo Geo OC actually. And I just developed my own world for that, but... Am I happy about that? I don't know. Like... I guess it can't be avoided because Naruto is everywhere. But I really did intend for that. Arm scarf is just another thing that is what it's usually associated with ninjas and the types that you would find it masking their face or using it as a hood or it's around their neck. But I didn't really want to do that since I already, I already had some details around her neck with her clothes, so I put it on her on her arm. It's also a throwback to one of the older designs you'll see later that I did put that scarf there before, and you also see how she would use it. Because I made a variation to this entire outfit with just the scarf changing where it's placed or how it's used. You'll see that later. And it's just a little mm, cute design just to give it a little bit more motion to the piece. Because this is a very stiff cloth. Uh, it's not meant to be soft and flexible or easily crumpled. It's meant to hold its shape a bit, you know, in post-apocalyptic uh, designs you want clothes that are durable and a bit tough so that's what I wanted to make this cloth look like so I wanted the scarf to be the balancing factor in terms of the texture I want it to be soft and um, well flexible <laughs> In comparison to the old color scheme or design, the only thing I actually did retain was the purple. I did take some inspiration from the design before this one in terms of the color of the bluish greenish clothing. But I made this one more darker and more bluish so that it gives more of that assassin hidden in the shadows vibe to it. And purple is the only one that I retained across all of her designs. I tend to do that. I tend to try and retain some elements from outfit designs I made before the current one. So here's the variation, this variation B. So I transferred her arm scarf to around her head to act as a hood. Since assassins really do need to keep their identities hidden, the hood would help. And I really didn't want it to cover her face since I, I worked so hard on that face. I didn't want it to be covered right away, so she could pull it down if she wants to, or when she needs to. But the scarf from the arm can be used as a normal scarf or as a hood.
we're about to finish. Again, the original designs are right after this, so stick around for that. And yeah, just stick around for that. Right now, we're just still working on the shadows and the highlights anyway, so there's a bit more time to chill. Okay, so this is the finished piece with her weapon, and this is the comparison. You can pause here if you want to look at it. And please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt. Click here for part one, and see you around. Phew.